Hello and welcome to another tutorial brought to you by NoxTT.com, enabling organizations through technology. In today's video, we're going to look at the VPN digital disruption. And we're taking the angle of accessing geolocation-based services. So what is this video all about? We're going to be accessing geolocation-based services. Location-based services, LBS for short, use real-time geodata from any internet-connected device to provide information, entertainment, or security. American-based internet television services are primarily intended for customers who reside in America. However, this determination is made solely using your IP address. As a result, once you can acquire an American IP address, then you have access to American location-based services. A virtual private network or VPN can assign you any country IP address you want, and in so doing, give access to any location-based service. For this demonstration, we will use the OpenVPN as our VPN provider. So let's have a look at the steps we're going to take in today's demonstration. We're going to Google some American location-based service, and we can give an example, Fubo TV, Sling TV, Pluto TV. We're going to try to access that service. Then we're going to, then we're going to use a free geolocation service to determine what is my IP, see where I'm coming from. According to the internet, what country am I in based on my IP address? Then we're going to turn on a VPN and we're going to choose an American based IP address. Sometimes we may have to close the browser for the settings to take place. Sometimes they take place immediately. But we're going to go back to that same browser, reload the page and see if my IP address changes. And as a result, as far as the internet is concerned, my location has changed or the country in which I am accessing the internet from has changed. Then we're going to close off those tabs that we tried to access Fubo TV, Sling TV, Pluto TV and see if we can access them with our new GeoBase IP. So let's get right into that. So we can Google and this we're going to use DuckDuckGo. So this is FUBU TV. We're also going to try Sling TV. Sling. We're also going to try Pluto TV. Pluto TV. Fubo TV. We're sorry, Fubo TV content is currently not available in your location. Sling TV. We're sorry, Sling TV is only available inside the US. Thank you for your interest. Pluto TV. We're sorry, but TV is currently unavailable in your location. And let's just quickly do a check. According to the my location, this is my IP address, and I'm coming off of St. Augustine. My country, most importantly, is Trinidad and Tobago. So what are we going to do here is turn on our VPN system. And as I stated before, we're going to use OpenVPN. For those interested, you can have a look at this. Open v OpenVPN, by the way, gives you a limited free access so you do have access to the service for free but the number of countries you can uh, IP addresses you can acquire will be quite limited with those free profiles detailing how to set this up is beyond the scope of this video we're just going to jump right into it 
So I'm in a folder here that has all my various locations. So I'm going to try a Chicago location. Sequence completed. Usually the command prompt is supposed to be returned to me, but I think it works even though it has not been returned. So let's just refresh and see what happens. Right now my country says Trinidad. My country has changed to the United States and I have a different IP address. So let's reload Fubo TV. All of a sudden I can access it. Let's reload Sling TV. I can access that too. Let's reload Pluto TV. Okay, maybe I have to close this one off. Now let's try it again. And I have access to Pluto TV. So you see by switching on my IP, my uh, address changed, my country address changed to America. And once that was changed, I then have access to all these digital based entertainment services. This is a small example of how VPNs can disrupt traditional telecommunications based services such as cable and other digital entertainment services. Another area that will experience disruption is website traffic reports and website analytics. Because if I am one person, but I can have any number of IPs, any number of country IPs, then I can visit the same website from the same browser five different times from five different countries and when you look at your web analytics you're going to think that five people from five different countries visited the website when in reality it was just me so without you know saying much i'm quite sure your imagination can open up and will lend itself to all the possibilities that can happen there uh, from the get-go you can see how your web traffic reports are going to be skewed and they're going to be incorrect. This is but a small taste of the kind of disruption VPNs are going to cause moving forward. So that's it for VPN digital disruption, accessing geolocation based services. I hope you found this video informative and I'd like to thank you for viewing.